Hello everybody, Mr. Racer here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change your FOV in Arma 2 and what the difference is. There is no need to complain about first person being or giving you nauseousness, I guess, or uh, that you're uh, that you can't see as much as a normal person would do when he's inside the game. Obviously, it's a bit different, but it, the FOV changes a lot. So, the first thing you want to do is to find your Arma 2 OA profile. This you find this in your Documents folder, which is located here on Windows 8 but you can find it if you open up the uh, on Windows 7 if you press on the start menu and then somewhere around here it says documents just press the documents find your Arma 2 other profiles or Arma 2 depending on if you have more profiles on your uh, on your game I do have a secondary profile so I'll open up that then you want to find your Arma 2 OA profile file you open that up, go all the way to the bottom in this folder or in this file, and then you can find uh, these. These are the default, or this is the default FOV for Arma 2. This feels crap, I know, when you go into the game. It doesn't look good at all. Um, I'll show you the difference between uh, this and what I use. This is the default for. Um, if you have a 1080 resolution, there are a bunch different, a bunch of different uh, FOV changes. But I've I've noticed that the one that I'm using, not the one that I'm using that I have right now, but the one that I have usually works basically for almost every resolution. It looks completely fine, but for 1080, it's probably the best resolution or the best option for me. Um, all right, you can play around with these settings if you want to. Uh, I'll place them in the description, the default and the uh, the one that I use. So for now, I'll open up my game and show you guys how it looks with the default and then I'll change back to the one that I use. Alright guys, we are in the game. I haven't played with this FOV in a long time and it kind of feels a bit like squished in, I guess. Um, doesn't feel that bad though. It's okay. Like, if you don't know how to turn off head bob in game, you do it by the options and then go to game options and drag head bob all the way down. Then you don't see this, this like bobbing with the head all the time, which is really annoying. Um, yeah, this feels kind of okay, but it can be better. Like, I'm a bit tunnel visioned right now because I, like, I can't, I can't even see that forest. Like that forest beside me. If if we get the FOV, I'll be able to see like prob probably that much around me, which is which is probably like like a as much as a human being would be able to like comprehend at the same time. Um, so I'll I'll change to that resolu resolution and I'll see if I can get to the same position and uh, show you guys what the difference is. All right, so we're back in the same spot. We have a bit more peripheral vision, or whatever it's called. I can see the car from here when I look like this, which is like almost completely on my left, which is more realistic. If I stand in the same, in about the same position, I can see a lot more of the forest on my right, and I can see a lot on the on the left side too. Uh, this is actually like almost as much as you can see in real life. A bit less, obviously, but we don't want to make the game look weird. Um, these are the settings that I'm using. I'll put them in the description. This makes first person actually like a viable option to play on, and it makes the firefights a lot more fun when you can actually flank around people. This enhances the RP too, because, well, if you're not aware that people can peek around things in first, third person, which happens a lot. 
Alright, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. And have a nice day.